Yep. Well, hopefully we'll be able to help out with that. Um, what we'll probably do is go through what I call a general tune-up, which is where we can go through any symptoms that you might be exhibiting, and we'll just tick them off as we go down. And then after that, I'll talk to you about our best practice here and how we're going to help you to feel a little bit better. Okay? So we'll start off just by going through the list and you just tell me as best you can any of the symptoms that you've been exhibiting or feeling and that will help to guide me with what we do next. Okay? So first off, and I'll be writing everything down here. Have you been experiencing any general back pain? Mm hmm Okay. It can, yeah, I mean, it can vary wildly from mild to severe. It doesn't matter about the severity of it. For this question, it's just, have you experienced any at all, any discomfort? Okay. And have you been in a car accident recently or anything like that? Our primary source of referrals is actually whiplash from car accidents because not only can an accident like that be traumatic psychologically, it can also have a massive impact on the general alignment of the spine and can cause pains, trapped nerves, all the things like that. Okay? And it might sound a little bit strange, but have you had any foot pain recently? Mm -hmm. Well, there can be a lot of misalignment in some of the foot bones, and we can deal with quite a lot of that through alignment of your central nervous system, essentially. But you can also have foot problems relating to diabetes, or just perhaps even um, atrophy, because you haven't been active that much. Have you experienced any pains at all? Okay. And what about your wrists, so carpal tunnel syndrome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you work at a computer for a long period of time, or even just recreationally spend a lot of time on the computer, and that includes video games where you have your hand in a claw-like position for a long time, it can cause numbness, pain, or tingling of the extremities. And that can be related to the tendons in your wrist, or it can be related to the bones in your hand. And what can happen is that those sensations can actually keep you up during the evening or when you're in bed. So that's something we definitely like to alleviate if we can. And what about headaches? Mm -hmm. Again, when we work with the spine, a lot of the time up here, we can get headaches from maybe a trapped nerve or some kind of neural problem here. So we'll be looking at that when we go through every single one of your vertebrae later on, okay? And knee pain, any tightness in the knees or the muscles surrounding the knee? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be looking for misalignments and biomechanical tracking problems with regards to the knee. So that can also then sort of work its way up and affect the lower back and sometimes the hips too, okay? Now, what about neck pain? Okay, yeah, this is usually due to a misalignment of the parasympathetic nervous system, so where your, just the base of your skull aligns with your coccyx or the base of your spine, what can happen is there's a misalignment there. It can actually cause general back pain. But we'll also be looking at any cause of interference along the vertebrae as we work our way down, um, because obviously pinched nerves can be a thing as well. So have you experienced any pinched nerves or anything like that? It's typically a very sharp pain, almost like a compressed pain. Mm -hmm. And just because I have to ask, any pregnancy-induced pains? Okay. Shoulder pain. Mm -hmm. The onset of shoulder pain can be gradual or it can be sudden. It's 
It can be like a migraine or a headache. Sometimes it can just strike you when you least expect it. So any shoulder pain at all? Okay. And have you had any lack of proper motion due to spinal problems? So that could, I want you to differentiate between, for example, your sense of balance, but any lack of sort of upward mobility or lower mobility because of what you might perceive to be a back problem. Okay. And as I mentioned, one of the things we always keep an eye out for is whiplash because it can cause headaches, it can cause a variety of symptoms that can be misconstrued with other things. So whiplash is a really nasty one. And as I said, it's our sort of main referral source um, because a lot of the time people will get referred to us thinking that they have a headache when in actual fact they've suffered whiplash either because they've been in a car accident or even that they've turned suddenly because they're having a nightmare or something like that. But those are all the questions for now. So what I'll do just very quickly is I'll put that to one side and I'll just show you what we'll be doing today. Okay. So what I've got here is a broad illustration of the spine. And what we'll be doing today is working our way down from the top all the way to the bottom. And as I do so, I'll be telling you what I'm doing at each vertebrae, because there's a lot of them, and each one relates to a different part of your body or a different organ function within the body, okay? So I will be, first of all, I'll be facing you the whole time, because at this practice, we want you to know what we're doing. We don't want you to feel like there's someone behind you doing anything mysterious. So I'll be in front of you like this the whole time, and I'll be either on your right hand side or your left hand side and I'll be explaining very quietly because I'll be close to your ears exactly which vertebrae we're working on and why we're working on it okay also I don't feel that I need to let you know but probably just to warn you there will be some cracking sounds okay that just means that we're doing our job okay so it's absolutely nothing to worry about but if you do hear a large, large crack or anything like that I'll let you know what's happened and it's all fine, okay? There may be some discomfort, but if you feel too much discomfort at any time, just let me know and we can move on to a different vertebrae, okay? So, let's get started. Just let me put this to one side, here. Okay, put my pen down as well. Okay, and although you don't have to remove any of your clothing, I will be putting on gloves just from a purely sanitary perspective, just so you know, don't get any grubbiness on you and you don't get any grubbiness on me, okay? But otherwise, it's not topical. You will feel me touching you, but it's nothing to worry about, okay? Right, now, as I said, I will alternate from left to right and I will be placing my arms around you and just very gently pressing a different vertebrae on your spine, okay? As I do that, I will explain exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and when we hear the crack, I'll move on, okay? So I'm gonna get in very close, but please don't worry. I'm gonna to go to your right first and the first thing that we're going to look at is the cervical spine, which is the upper part of the spine. And we're gonna look at vertebrae 1C, so the first part of the cervical spine, which is located just below your skull. All right, so I'm gonna get in here, just around you, don't worry. Now, this vertebrae 1C, actually controls the blood supply to the head and the pituitary gland which deals with growth. It also connects to the scalp, the bones of the face, the brain, the inner and middle ear and the sympathetic nervous system which is what I mentioned before. And what we're trying to do, there we go, did you hear that? A little crack already. 
This part will help to relieve any headaches, nervousness, insomnia, head colds, high blood pressure, migraine, headaches, you name it. This is what connects your head to your body. And so, oh, there we go, very carefully. Now what I'm going to do is place my hands on the back of your head like that. And lift ever so gently. Don't worry, I'm not gonna pick your head off or anything like that. It's so just very gently and lift. There we go. I'm just gonna hold it there for three, two, one, and relax. Okay? It's okay. to continue. So we'll be working our way down the spine through all the vertebrae like that. And just like that I'll tell you what part they deal with, what they do, and the symptoms that we're trying to alleviate by working with them. Okay, so I'm going to get back in and now we're moving on to 2C. So the second vertebrae on the cervical spine. Now this one deals with your eyes. So your mastoid bones as well, and your tongue and your forehead, so it's kind of the inner gubbins of your skull. So let's just push down very gently. Tap, 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 tap. Let's see if we can put some pressure. I'm just going to apply a slight bit of pressure here. Okay, and again. Nothing here. Let's also be looking for a general sort of fluid buildup, which can be indicative of a trapped nerve or infection or anything like that. Okay, well, let's try it. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, perfect. You okay? Good. How are you feeling? Yeah? Like I said, any discomfort? any major discomfort, let me know. We can either move on or just stop altogether. It's completely up to you. Okay? Good. Now, the third cervical spine vertebrae, 3C, is your cheeks. So along with the outer, you know, the trifacial nerve, and your teeth as well. So if you've got toothache, it's good to get in with 3C. Let's see. It's like that, and then there's a bulge out in between, which is the thoracic 
spine. Okay, so we get the cervical, the thoracic, and then the lumbar all the way down to the sacrum, and then the coccyx at the bottom where your tail used to be when you had one. <laughs> okay, so why are we? Uh, yeah, 4C. So let's go. Tap, tap. Now this will help you with laryngitis, it will certainly help you with things like hoarseness or any kind of throat conditions that you might have. So let's get in there and have a look. Okay. Ah, there we go. Did you hear that? Perfect. Okay, 6C, so your neck muscles, your shoulders and your tonsils. So we're getting around here now, okay? So just relax for me, that's it, relax. If you want, you can breathe nice and slowly. There's no rush, we've got all the time in the world. Plenty of time to relax and just work our way. Down, 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 okay? All right, so five, uh, six C is for stiff neck, pain, rubber arms, tonsillitis, or coughs and things like that. So let's see if we can. Mm -hmm. This just helps with any colds or thyroid conditions that you may have. Okay. So now we move on to your thoracic spine, which is the your upper back, essentially between your shoulders, and everything like that. Okay. So we're working very gently within to make sure that we do everything right. And again, I'll just be telling you exactly what I'm doing the whole time, so you've got nothing to worry about. Okay. All right. So we're on to one T, which is the arms, the elbows, the hands, the wrists, fingers, the esophagus, and the trachea. A lot of stuff. And so this can help with any difficulties that you might have breathing as well as alleviate some of the symptoms of asthma, shortness of breath, or pain in your lower arms or hands. Okay? Sometimes I'll just very gently hold you by your shoulders and shake you a little bit. Okay? Don't worry, I'm not trying to hurt you. <laughs> it's just to loosen you up a bit, limber you up, and to help you to relax too. Okay, here we go. Perfect. See, worked a treat. Okay, so now 2T, which is to do with your heart, your valves, any coverings, and your coronary arteries, okay? And this, as you can imagine, it's just to help with your functional part, any conditions that you might have. 
and some breathing problems too sometimes. Okay. So I'm just going to very gently put my hand on your heart as well here. Up a little bit. Mm -hmm. this one because we're on to 3T that which is your lungs I want you to breathe with me for a little bit okay I appreciate my hair has gone a little bit crazy um, so if you breathe in hold and act breathe in hold and act breathe in hold and act Thank you. Okay, so 3T is your lungs, your bronchial tubes, your pleura, your chest. As you can imagine, this helps with pneumonia, bronchitis, congestion, or any kind of influenza, as well as colds. Okay. So what we're really looking to do here is get a really big crack on this one to help you out with any symptoms that you might be exhibiting. Okay. That's good. Okay, good. And again. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Now we are down to 40. Not 40, 4T. 2 for T. <laughs> and what we're doing here is looking at your gallbladder, your common duct. Okay. So this just relates to things like jaundice or shingles or anything like that. It can help with alleviating symptoms. A plethora of problems. Okay. Okay. Next up, 90, 
which is your adrenal and suprarenal glands, which is allergies and hives, can also help with your kidney function. Okay. So nine tea, nine cups of tea, please. <laughs> which is exclusively your kidneys and as you can imagine this relates to any kidney troubles you might have the hardening of the arteries chronic tightness and in some cases alcohol your kidneys again but your uterus too okay so um, this will just help with any skin conditions acne eczema anything like that okay good here we go So rheumatism, gas pains, and it can, I mean, I'm not convinced on this, but it can help with sterility too, okay? So this is right down to the middle, the small of your back now, okay? So I'm going to be pretty rough, and what I'm going to do, bear with me, is put my arms around you, like that, and just pick you up a little bit, okay? Is that all right? Thank you. So here we go, and... Up <laughs> and once more, two. Okay, <laughs> okay, 12 team. Here we go. Let's get rid of that. Any gas pains that you might be having because we all get them. Don't worry. That'll, um, perfect. Okay, now we're on to your lumbar, and you're here. A lot of people talk about the lumbar section of the back. It's where if you get lumbar support when you sit or if you hunch over or have particularly bad posture. This kind of chiropractory that we're doing right now is called relief. So what we'll do after we finish, we'll schedule regular appointments where we actually work on specific areas of concern, okay? So first one lumbar, one L, which is your large intestine. And this can help with Obviously constipation, dysentery, diarrhea, and any any ruptures or hernias that you might have. <clears throat> so it's an important one, so I'm nuzzle in there like this, okay? There we go, there we go. Come on, go, 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 go. There, perfect. Next up is your 2L, which is your appendix, your abdomen. So if you've been running, this can help with cramps or any difficulties in breathing, as well as varicose veins, if you have them. And again, much rubbing motion, okay? Mm-hmm. personal but it's your reproductive organs your uterus and your bladder and your knees as well so this can help with not just bladder problems but menstrual problems too or painful and irregular periods and also it can help with impotency or any massive sort of changes in life that you might have been experiencing too so the 3L is 
really good vertebrae to work on. So as such, I'm going to give it a little bit more attention than the other ones. Okay, so here we go. I just tap, 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 Again, much like 3L is related to the prostate gland and a lot of the muscles in the lower back as well as the sciatic nerve. So it can help with sciatica, which is that awful pain you can get in your sacrum, your coccyx. Um, so let's see if we can help a bit with that. Finally, for the lumbar spine is your 5L, which is the lower legs, the ankles, and the feet. Okay. Just loosen you up a bit. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. Okay, so. Now, one thing that I won't doing today is actually working on your um, sacrum or your coccyx and that's simply because um, we would need to derobe for that not me obviously um, but you would because it's a much more intimate area and that's something that I would like to poss possibly get to after a number of sessions with you so with that in mind hopefully you're feeling a little bit looser, you might experience a little bit of discomfort or aching immediately following this session, but um, hopefully you will start to feel even better as the week progresses. What I'd love to do is to book you in for another appointment, not a release session, but we sit down and have a proper consultation about what you'd like to achieve through these sessions and work out a really, really in-depth care plan where you and I work on all the different parts of the spine that you want to work on. So for example, if you had really bad stomach pains, we would work on 6T. If you had thyroid issues, we'd work on 7C. And we'd work through that and come up with a program to suit you that will help alleviate some of those symptoms and just hopefully sort of give you back control over your body, okay? So how does, same time we met today, but next Tuesday sound? Hmm? Okay, no problem. What would work for you? Yeah, that's fine, that's great. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for coming in today. I really hope that it's helped and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks.